Good afternoon to my class. So in the previous video we have already discussed about the how the Indian society was divided into the different caste systems. Now in this video we are going to be learning about the how this caste system was having a different job to do. So as I previously mentioned that the Brahmins they have made a law book called a Dharma Shastra. And in this law book they have mentioned that the Indian society was divided into the four different caste systems and this has been originated from the god called a Brahma. So first one is the Brahmins and the second one is the Kshatriyas, the third one is the Vaishyas and the fourth one is the Shudras. And you can see that there is a Dalit also and they were not treated even as a caste systems because they mentioned that the, this was not originated from the, the god called Brahma so that's why they have made it as an outcast so these are the actually the untouchabilities now we are going to be discuss about the what are the different occupations of the different caste so as I already mentioned you that the, the Brahmins and they have made a law book called a Dharma Shastra and in this book they used to describe about the what are the different job to do by the different caste systems the first one is that the, the brahmans so the all the brahmans they have to teach the vedas to the people the veda means it, it is a religious text and as well as they have to also perform a sacrifices uh, i hope that the, you might have saw some of the indian video that the people used to sacrifice many of the animals to the god so these all are the things that are allotted for the brahmins and as well as they used to give a grant to the people and as well as they used to receive the gift from the peoples so these are the job that are done by the brahmins and the second one is that the chatriyas uh, these people are mostly engaged into the warfare which means that the, they are mostly an army and as well as they used to protect the peoples from the outsiders and as well as the end of the job was that the, uh, they used to took care of the judicial, judicial systems also and the third one is that the Vaishas now the Vaishas are the peoples who are mostly engaged into the agriculture and as well as the trade and as well as the pastoralisms and the the fourth caste was the Shudras and uh, the Shudras are the people who have to be look after the these uh, above three caste systems they used to serve the higher Varna systems so these are the different job that was allotted to the different caste systems so when the Brahmins feel that the uh, this all the rules was not following by the many of the peoples now they used to I mean forcefully by force they used to teach or you can say that the, uh, they used to told to the people that the, you have to follow this all the things now uh, they have made a different norms the first one is that the, they used to told to the people that the, all the caste system was originated from the God itself so that's why you have to obey all these things and the second one is that the, uh, they advise to the king that the, make sure that, that the, all the uh, caste system was followed by the peoples and the third one is that the, uh, they used to say that people that the, whatever whatever your father's caste system was belong from you also belong from the same caste which means that if the father was belong from the Shudra caste, then the, his child will be automatically becomes a Shudra caste. So this is how the I mean, Brahmins had made a difference norm to the people also. Now we are going to be discussing about the non Chatriya kings, which means that the, as the previously in the law book of the Brahmins, uh, they used to mention that the, if someone's becoming a king he should be big, uh, having a background of the Kshatriyas but the, here we are finding that the, some of the peoples who are not obeying uh, these rules and regulations so uh, we will be looking at the three different example the first one is that the, 
it is a modern empire who is not having a chatriya's background but the some of the kings who is belong from the very low caste and as well as the many of the uh, successor of the modern empire was also from the uh, brahman caste such as the shungas kanvas diche and you can find that the and there's a little bit contradictions or you can say that the people are not obeying the uh, whatever the rules that are that was made by the brahmins and the second example was that the uh, the rudramans who was from the uh, who just came from the central asia and become a ruler into the india and he was actually a barbarian you know that the, what is a barbarian means a uh, barbarian are the peoples though used to say, uh, those used to stay at the very primitive and as well as they uh, they are not much that much of developed as per, as per a societies so these are the barbarians and also here you can see that, that they are also not belong from the chatriya's background so these are the two examples and the last one was the satwanas uh, which were, who is a ruler from the south india and he is also belong from the brahmin's caste and uh, uh he have a very unique brahmins which means that ikka bhamanas he is belong from and uh, he said that the, uh, he believed that the many of the brahmins people have to stay under the chatriya because the uh, chatriya was the most of the times they are the kings and the uh, brahmins were have to be stay under the uh, chatriya's power so that's why he wanted to destroy the all the pride of the chatriyas so uh, these are the things which clearly show that the many of the people who are not obeying the law book of the brahmins and as well as uh, the satvanas he also made a marriage alliance with the rudramans which means that the, he also gave the many of his daughter to the rudramans and the, in the previously uh, we have learned that the, the same gotras couldn't able to be married and as well as the uh, the high caste if people were belonging from the high caste they can't be able to marry with the low caste these are the certain rules which was uh, made by the brahmins so he uh, satwanas here what he was doing is that the, he was uh, opposing to the all these norms you can see saw that so we are going to be uh, continue with the uh, next topic